Welcome back to Triple B Reviews, where we have beer, beards, and B-movies. The Ed here with Jake, and we're doing today, John Dies at the End. This movie was picked by me, although I know that with the ad and his great taste, he would have picked it if he'd had a chance. It's possible. <laughs> this is a... I had an argument with a, a guy on Facebook. I wouldn't say argument. He made a comment. I made a comment back where he felt like this was a comedy. I think it's kind of a comedy sci-fi horror altogether. Yeah, uh, I think I'd put it in our normal category. Yeah. It's, you know. it's, a, it's a movie based on... Uh, they're, at a, they're at a rave. John and Dave. Dave's the, really the main character. He's at a rave. He, he gets um, finds this reggae guy that ends up having this drug called soy sauce. Soy sauce. That's a drug, right? Just tell me what this stuff is, John. The effects don't last that long. The no side effects don't last that long. The effects will last the rest of my life, I think. And the soy sauce is just mind-altering, like let you see other dimensions. John ends up getting some later at the party and dies. Yeah, he, yeah he, get, he dies. And the whole story centers around this soy sauce and the, the evil that is concentrated and, and trying to come through using it. And Dave and John and, and the adventure they have where they end up they end up having to go into another dimension to kill a computer that's a biological computer. And a whole new, you know, it's weird. Er, and uh, yeah. eventually, at the end, you know, they're playing basketball, and you see that there's kind of a lead-in that maybe there might. They were thinking about a second movie because you get a second dimension. Um, it has some some big, you know, some I would. It has some names, and I don't say big names. Yeah. The cop is a guy that's recognizable. Uh, the guy that plays the the Marconi, which is the beginning of the movie. When the meat monster comes together. Oh, that was good. And they get the Marconi on the line. Now, see, you got a monster. How can it not be? And that was my point. You know. Uh, the guy they get on the phone, I always remember him because he was the bad guy in the first Highlander movie. Okay. Now. Move now. Never seen that. That guy, um, Ron Perlman. And um, there's a couple others that are guys that you just see, man. They're just in movies all the time. Um, so, but you know, what? Enough of what happened. What was uh, what was your opinion of the movie overall? Well, I liked it. It it, uh, it tended to be somewhat a little confusing, I thought, because it it would jump around. I liked the part where John died, and then later on he's getting phone calls from John. Yeah, on the Broadwurst. Yeah, it was really unusual. Um, I liked how the, the soy sauce he was showing it dripping from the needle was kind of moving and making little spikes on it and stuff. That was interesting. Yeah. Uh, but overall, it was pretty good. I, I So, you know, it's definitely well, something you, you should a, see. A favorite part. No, I can't say I really had a favorite on that one. I, the whole time I was watching that one, it was pretty much just being so, almost overwhelmed by everything that's going on. It's a movie time. that if you enjoy it, you have to watch it a couple times to really get all the little... I can see that. To really pick up every mm -hmm. thread of the plot, you would want to watch like it Like the first once. time I watched I enjoyed it, and this is about the third time I watched it, and I had never noticed... And I mean, it's a major plot point at the end where they come back and the dog has sacrificed himself for the computer to kill the computer at the end on, oh. on the bridge and uh, they walk out and here's Marconi that had said hey you know you guys are the ones can go the other dimension and he he explains to him real briefly well really you guys were just here to get the dog in we never really intended you guys to save the world. It was the dog that was going to get it, you know. Uh, okay. Did, did you catch that part? No, I yeah, missed that. I'm saying I, I missed it the first time too. 
Um, you know, I, I enjoyed it, obviously. I think my favorite part was the part where um, the girl with, with um, at the mall. Okay. Where they're where they're all together, and the one guy get ends up going out to see where the box, and just that whole scene was was enjoyable to me. Um, part that I didn't like, I, I thought at times they jumped around a little bit. Where if you weren't paying, yeah, that's what set, I was saying. Yeah, you know, I I love um, the guy that plays the the reporter because in and amongst the storyline is. Dave giving the story to a reporter to try to see if he can write a, a story about it. Yeah. So that they can. And he's talking to a guy. I can't remember his name. I'm horrible with names. He's he's in huge amount of things. You'll recognize him when you watch it. But you know he's a little little white guy, and you find out that he's actually an African American reporter that had done a lot of stuff, but they had these entities that killed him. And that's how they find out. That's how he finds out the guy's dead because he talks about being doing a report, you know, and getting beat up by a cop and being called, at, you know, racial slurs. Um, but yeah, what's your uh, what's your review? Two, two. I thought it was interesting. So you wouldn't watch? I thought it, again. it was good. Oh, I might watch it again. I'm not saying that. Um, I. I it just didn't trip my trigger as much as some of them. Did. I think this movie is one of those where you enjoyed it, right? Yeah, it was I good. I think movie. the more you watch it, the more you'll enjoy it. Very well could be, and I probably have to watch it again. I'm sure because I, yeah. I you know, I think uh, I think my review, my grade, just because it it is something that gets better as you watch it. it you know, this is one of those that if you like sci-fi, if you know, you have to kind of like that weird younger. You know where you maybe they tried to make it more complicated than they needed to, which I, I love that kind of stuff. But uh, I would give yeah. it a three. Really? So that's a that's a two and a half across the board for triple B movie review uh, grading. I didn't do IMBD for the last two. I the didn't what? even think about it. The grade that the uh, uh, IMDb it's the movie database thing. I, oh, I, don't I forgot that this time. I'll put that in the description of what what they graded out at. Okay, got to be got to be a huge high, you know. So They're probably a two. <laughs> so, two hundred. Oh. All right. So the question of the day is: What kind of beer does a true redneck drink? Okay. Well, I, I can't answer for everybody, but I can tell you this. But he'll try. I'm going to make every effort. <laughs> Let me tell you what. I am a fan of what I call working man's beer. You know, this, uh, and by working man, I mean somebody who actually works, not goes and sits at a desk. I'm going to go ahead and take offense to that because I go and sit at a desk and I, I work he's, hard. He's a yuppie. Um, Whatever. Anyway... And that tends to be those mid-range, mid-price uh, things like Bush and, uh, you know, Miller High Life, Pabst Blue Ribbon, and no light beer, you know. If you're worried about your waistline, you know, you're not a redneck because, let's face it, the definition of a redneck is well, blissfully unsophisticated. And I'm not real sure, I mean, don't quote me on this because I'm not oh, a, a okay. dietitian or a nutritionist or anything, but... Calories in beer, couldn't that? I mean, you could just drink your dinner if you're trying to say, you know, if you're, you're sitting in front of a hamburger and a beer and you need to lose weight, put the hamburger aside. Yeah, there you go. Throw away the bun. Or you know, never do that, and uh, we don't recommend that. But I don't so, know, it's uh, worth a try. You know, I, you know it's I, just worth a try. I agree with you. You know, I I picked the beer today and it's Coors. You know, I'm a big fan of, of you know just a. Good beer, you know. Yeah, the it's not bad. Although, not that I, you know, open myself up to criticism from the Ed over here, but I, I do enjoy, you know, some IPAs. and He some does stuff. buy yuppie beer so, at times. I'm worried about him. So, as always, uh, the Ed has Gardening Channel that uh, is on YouTube. On, like I said, I think the couple, last couple of times we talked, it'll be a minute before you put anything out, right? Yeah, about the first of the year. 
Uh, that's about when gardening catalogs start showing up, and mm -hmm. that's when I start doing it. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, Triple B Movie Reviews, where we discuss, well, I discuss, the Ed's strangely absent at this point. I'm going to be better. <laughs> about, you know, movies we've watched. I last couple weeks I've put uh, a couple comments about the movies as I'm watching them. I plan on doing more of that, putting uh, opinions and thoughts, you know, like when we, the Bad Milo is the video we did the, before this, and I made the comment about certain scenes that are real close to each other and how that's kind of... <laughs> It's hard to take as a guy. You'll, you'll have to watch that one again to see what I'm discussing. Yeah. Um, also, we appreciate it if you subscribe, like, or comment. Uh, please, by all means. Yep. Send us more questions. Yeah. So, uh, do you have anything you want to shout out on before we go? I had something, and it's gone now. Snow uh, is a bitch. All right. If you can't be a redneck, you know, at least kind of try to fit in. <laughs> Triple P.L.